does the kid, Mr. R.I.P. himself, low so case you ain't no so rocking with DJ Dells. I'm an addict for sneakers. Sneaker Addicts, what up, it's your boy Dells back with a brand new episode. If you're new to the channel, if you love sneakers, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button, that's team notification. You get notified ASAP like Rocky. Now with that said, you see what we got here. We got the Air Jordan 8 Take Flight, some people are calling it. The Sequoias, the Undefeated, even though they have nothing to do with the brand Undefeated. You see the colorway, definitely reminiscent of the Undefeated 4s. And I personally dig it. I dig the colorway, I love the color combination, and I think most of you guys do too. Females also, definitely not counting out the females. And these will be out soon, in a couple of weeks. The retail will be 190 buckaroos. I'll have more information on my blog, thesneakeraddict.com, and I will eventually put information also to help you guys out in the description box below when we get closer to the actual release. Let's get up close, take a look. As you can see, it feels like it's like a synthetic kind of like new buckish kind of material on most of the upper, I can't really explain it. You got your 23 on the strap, flat green laces. I like the actual black hits on the midsole right there. I think it's a nice touch and I really love how you have that matte and then you have the stripes in a uh, glossy black. Black on black looks tough. Definitely digging that. You have neoprene like over here, which is cool, I guess. Would have rather it be suede or new buck. And then on the strap, you've got your buckle in a metallic and this is kind of faded looking. Like, I wish it was like a darker black. I feel like they could have given us like more of a darker black on that Air Jordan strap. And there's a look at the outsole. Check it out. Got that dope design throughout it. Always loved that. And then you have your jump man up tap. Jordan. <laughs> Remember that when you were a kid jumping? Jordan. <laughs> and you got your back. And you have your pull strap up top. A little short, it looks like, compared to the originals. You see how you have the back of the Velcro all the way across? I always hated that. You're never going to put the straps all the way to the back. So why not just have it ribbed down? I can never understand that. It still bothers me to this day. And there's a look at the medial side of the shoe. As far as the fit to Air Jordan 8, I like to go true to size. You could probably even go down half a size if you have a narrow foot. But if you have a wide foot, I really recommend you trying them on first before going up half a size. But if, you know, you have no choice and you have to go up half a size, that's the only way you're going to get the shoe, then you'll be okay also. Just maybe get one of them things to avoid creasing. But I don't think these are going to sell out quick. Just give me another shot. As you can see right there up top, you have your Chanel circle with your Jumpman in your orange. I always love that on the tongue. Always a big fan of that. Inside you have that orange outsole with a black Jumpman. It's kind of hard for me to get in there. I think you guys can see it. And there you go with a close up HD look at the shoe. My personal opinion, I like it. I feel like it should have like a drop more orange on it. Just like a, literally like a hit somewhere and i don't know exactly where i would put it maybe on the buckle by the strap but i don't even know if i would there I, there's somewhere i feel like there should be another hit of orange on the shoe and this is just me critiquing the sneaker as i always keep saying for the few people that are like you're always complaining you're always hating ah, ah, blah 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 <laughs> What do you want me to do? Just tell you colors of the shoe? You guys are not stupid. My subscribers are brilliant, smart people. That's why they're subscribed here. No one's going to watch my videos that are dumb. They're not going to understand me. So I know, like, people don't need me to tell them what color the shoe is. You know the colors. You know them. Except for some of my viewers, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but some of my viewers are blind. I actually have viewers that are blind that have hit me up 
and I, I love you guys. I love everyone that watches my show, but you know, for a blind person to watch my videos, and it's more than just one, it's a, it's a bunch from all over the world. For them to hit up me and tell me that they love listening to the show and I describe the shoe well, that means a lot to me. It definitely touches my heart. Not to be on some, you know, sentimental stuff, but I mean, you know, I just like to share this in general. Like, there's people with disabilities that check out this show a lot, man. It's it's unbelievable. Like, it's in a beautiful way. It's unbelievable. It's beautiful. So, <laughs> shout out to everyone. But yeah, besides describing the colors and whatnot, you know, people want to know the materials. The upper, like, the material the upper is, it's, it's definitely some sort of synthetic, like, fake kind of new buckish material. It's not like... Oh my god, this upper is amazing, like, the way it feels. So, like, don't expect nothing, like, incredible. But it matches nicely with the mesh, I think. Like, that neoprene, like, the hits on the upper. It works well, you know. I mean, when you get something that's soft as far as a material. There's my New York coming out soft. <laughs> Sound like Enzo and Cass. Soft. But when you have, like, soft materials, it creases easily. And Jordan 8's crease like a bitch. Like a bitch. If you own a Jordan 2, even a Jordan 1, but Jordan 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7's, eh. Even 6 is a little bit, eh, it's not that bad. But, like, even the 8's, though, these shoes crease like a bitch. The 9's do, the 10's do. Like, you know, you want a material that's not super duper soft. Because... When they give you that good leather, it creases well. And an 8 with a creased toe looks like shit to me. Looks completely like shit. Like, I cannot handle seeing a pair of Jordan 8s and the toe is creased. It's not like if you see someone wearing, like, black cement 3s, toe creased. Kind of cool, you know. It, it, it looks dope with a little wear to it, just like the Jordan 1s. Jordan 8's with that wear to it, get out of here. They got to go. That's my opinion. If you disagree, that's okay, you know. I don't do the videos to try to convince people any like to like something, to dislike something. I give my opinion, and you guys could either agree with me or disagree with me and leave your comments in the comment box. It's like, I think the big part of YouTube is just to leave your comments in the comment box below. So, leave your comments. Let me know if you're going to be picking these up or not. Is it a pass or are you copping these right here? And let me know what you think of these. Like, are they the undefeated eights to you? I know it has no connection to the undefeated eights, but do you look at the shoe? And does that just connect to your mind? Like, I don't give a crap what they're saying it's called. These are the undefeated eights for me. Or are you calling them something else? Like, because for me, like, I don't give a damn what a brand says the nickname of the shoe is. Like... I'm going to call what I want to call. Like, remember when I had that foam posit that looked like Spider-Man? I called it the Spider-Man foam posits. The one that, like, had the red and the blue and the black. Like, just like other shoes I can't think of off top, of course, you know. Now that I'm, like, thinking of something off top, like, I wish I could bring up more. But, you know, you guys know what I'm saying. And um, <laughs> that's it for today's video. Once again, don't forget to follow my social media as soon as I find out information on these releasing. Sometimes shoes release early too. Nike's been doing that lately. I tweet away. So make sure you follow my Twitter. My Twitter is like major. Like you follow my Twitter. I have two different ones. Follow both of them on Twitter. They'll be in the description box. There'll probably be a pop-up. And also my Instagram. I have Instagram Live that's going on now on my Instagram. My Instagram is at Real DJ Dell. So follow me on the gram. I go live. I'm in my sneaker room. I'm out and about. You know, wherever the case is, I'm playing cards, drinking with friends. You know, whatever the case is, I'm live and I'm like willing to answer questions and just shoot the shit with you all. So make sure you follow my Instagram, Real DJ Dells. Just a great way to chop it up with all the viewers out there. I reviewed tons of shoes. I reviewed the upcoming Black Cat 3s. I reviewed the Air Jordan Chinese New Year 12s. I reviewed some new Saucony stuff. Yo, Saucony sent me the crazy Letterman jacket, like an actual jacket to match these sneakers that are releasing on the 20th. Fire. 
you got to see the unboxing video because I had no clue it was coming with this real nice. The jacket looks expensive, like it's a fire jacket. So check that out. Don't forget more stuff. I even got a, the Air Jordan 6 for the ladies that's coming out, the black and pink one. Like, I got tons of new videos out. So go to the main page, look at the pop ups, whatever the case. You know, if you love sneakers, you're at the right place if you're new here. So subscribe, catch up, and much love. Everyone be great out there. And with that said, we out.